Hey guys, so I just got back from doing a little field test with the Canada Goose Langford parka. I'm wearing an extra small and I weigh about 140. So it doesn't get too cold here in Wisconsin, or at least it hasn't gotten um, below zero this year yet. So I thought I'd do a little field test with the Langford, see how it holds up in uh, about zero degrees Fahrenheit and with a little bit of a wind chill. So all in all, it held up pretty well. Um, it's ready to be, it's ready to be keep you warm down to negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I did notice that the top of my chest here got a little cold and then my arms did as well, kind of near the top parts of my arms. So I'm assuming this is because that's where the jacket is most is tightest on me. So it's closest to my body at these points, which I assume might <clears throat> hurt some of the down fill insulation, being that it's kind of scrunched up against my body there. And there's not as much um, padding or, or fluff there. So I'd be a little worried if I had to wear this jacket outside from for a really long extended period of time. I probably wouldn't recommend it, but I didn't get necessarily cold in it. I just noticed there was some cold seeping through there and it just wasn't as warm as the rest of my body. Um, but all in all, it held up pretty well. The hood is really nice and the fur on it because you can zip the hood up all the way like this and it'll keep your head nice and warm. My face, my face stayed really warm, especially if I zipped it up all the way. I didn't need to wear a hat or a scarf, which is always really nice. Um, but this has been my field test of the Canada Goose Langford Parka. I also made one of the Chilliwick, so be sure to check that one out. And if you're interested in learning more about Canada Goose or seeing my other reviews, make sure to check out my channel. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and stay warm.